Please stand as you are able and turn to page 296 in your blue hymnals. We will sing together, We Know That Christ Is Raised and Dies No More. Bravo.
Good morning. Welcome to St. Nick's on this Baptism Sunday and the 15th Sunday after Pentecost. We're delighted you're here in person and joining us through our live stream feed. Our service continues in our blue leaflet. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. There is one body and one spirit. Called to us. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all. Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray the collect and prayer for this Sunday found in your yellow insert. Praying together. Grant, Grant us, us, O Lord, Lord to trust, trust in you with all our hearts. hearts. For Lord, as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so, so you never forsake those who make, make their, their boast of your mercy. mercy. Through, Through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall mark for you the, be the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the 10th of this month, they are to take a lamb for, for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be divided in proportion to the number of people who eat of it. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a year old male. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. Then the whole assembled congregation of Israel shall slaughter it at twilight. They shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of their, ho their houses in which they eat it. They shall eat the lamb that same night. They shall eat it roasted over the fire with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Do not eat any of it raw or boiled in water, but roasted over the fire with its head, legs, and inner organs. You shall let none of it remain until the morning. Anything that remains until the morning, you shall burn. This is how you shall eat it, your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you, you shall eat it hurriedly. It is the Passover of the Lord, for I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals. On all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall cel celebrate it as a festival to the Lord. Throughout your generations, you shall observe it as a perpetual ordinance. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Uh, we shall read the uh, 
our Psalm 149, uh, responsibly by whole verse. Hallelujah, sing to the Lord a new song and sing his praise in the congregation of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and adorns the poor with victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them be joyful on their beds. Let the, Let the praises, praises of God be in their throats and a two-edged sword in their hands. To wreak vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles with links of iron. To inflict on them the judgment decreed. This is glory for all his faithful people. Alleluia. Alleluia. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to, an, to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment of, for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armors of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make, make no provision for the flesh to gratify his desires. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, if another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly, I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Let us pray together. May the words of my mouth and the meditations on all of our hearts always be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. This passage is from the le Paul's letter to the Romans, and it might sound familiar. We sing these words and we pray these words, especially we pray these words on the first Sunday of Advent, which is not now. It's not yet. That's the beginning of the church year. But I will remind you of this prayer. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light now in the time of this mortal life in which your son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to life immortal through him who reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Put on the armor of light cast away the works of darkness. And I realize that we are a long way from Advent. Well, do I really realize that? I went to Costco yesterday. <laughs> and I don't know if all the stores are like this because I rarely go shopping, but Christmas decorations are for sale at Costco. You know, I feel like once Valentine's Day is over, we might as well just keep the Christmas decorations up. But what does it mean to us to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light? Not literally armor, like you would see a knight in shining armor, but how do we prepare ourselves for that light? Well, the truth is we really don't have to prepare anything. God's light is with us. In a few moments, we are going to baptize our newest member, Elizabeth May Fry. And we will, in that moment, before she is baptized, renew our own baptismal covenants. We will remember and make promises that will help us cast away the works of darkness so that we can put on the armor of light. You know how much I love the sacrament of baptism and how I remind you that you are a beloved child of God by reminding you of your own baptism with the sprinkling of water. And I wish that I could chrismate all of you with the oil of baptism to remind you that you received the sign of the cross at your baptism, that you are marked by the Holy Spirit in baptism and sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. A colleague of mine summarizes the promises that we are about to make in this way. First, we promise to give our heart and our lives to God 
in our lives, God should come first. God should come first. Secondly, we promise to show up in community, community like this, and our community that we all surround ourselves with, to be present, to be present to God, to put down our cell phones and to take it all in, whether it's someone's pain, someone's joy, the joy of creation, the beauty of creation, the challenges of life, be present to others. And as we keep our focus on God, we find that burning light, that light and love that the world and our neighbors and our communities need wherever we go. And then we tell our stories of faith. Maybe we don't have to use words. Maybe we can just use our actions. But we share that belovedness, those feelings of empathy and care, of support, of being present for other people. And if we use words, we might talk about how Jesus or God or the Holy Spirit has made an impact in our lives, how we know that we are not alone, and how we know that whoever we are with is also not alone, not just because of our presence, but because of God's being part of their lives. We also commit to participate in the work of the church by sharing our gifts and talents to help build God's beloved community. We are Christ's body now in the world. We just sang in our hymn that we started with, our last verse, which says, as a new creation comes to life and grows, as Christ's new body takes on flesh and blood, we are the hands of God. We are the eyes of God. We are God's feet. We are the new body that is living in the risen life of Christ. And finally, we are assured that we never do any of this alone. God is always with us. This community of faith is also here to support us, is available to us, cheering us on and walking alongside us with every step of the way. So those, I hope, will be the things that you think about as we renew our baptismal covenant and as we bring into the household of God the very sleepy Elizabeth May Fry in the back of the room. Through her baptism, Izzy will receive the forgiveness of sin. She will be raised to new life in grace. In essence, darkness will be washed away, and she will be sealed into the light of Christ by the Holy Spirit forever. And we will pray this prayer for Izzy, but I hope it's true for all of us. Give Izzy and all of us inquiring and discerning hearts the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love God, God as creator, Jesus as savior, and the Holy Spirit around us always and as the nudger, I like to say. And may she and all of us have the gift of joy and wonder in all of God's works. So my friends, today and every day, let us lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light now and in the days to come. Amen. Amen. I invite you to stand and turn towards the baptismal font, and I'll have Dawn come with me. Dawn, just you. You're going to have enough to hold on to with my prayer book. And we want to get the children from Sunday school, so hang on a minute, because we have siblings. Oh, she woke up. Okay, you guys want to be on page 301. But so do I, if I can find it. Hi. So all of you come forward and stand in front in the center aisle. Come this way. Come on, all of y'all, yeah, everybody, all the little people and their parents and friends. Or you can you can stay right here because you're siblings. You can stay right there. Um, Maggie and Alan and Danny and Ethan, you're going to have a better view if you stand right here in the middle. <laughs> okay, is that everybody? I mean, little and Ethan, not that far away. You're never going to see. That's good, right there. Come on, Danny. Okay, here we go. 
The candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. I present Elizabeth May Pride to receive the sacrament of baptism. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child that you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? I will with God's help. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will with God's help. Do you renounce Satan and all the evil spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. And now to the community gathered here, your responses we will. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support this person in her life in Christ? We will. Let us join then with those who are committing her, themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal promise. Do you believe in God the Father? I, I believe, believe in God, God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven, heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will with God's help. Let us now pray for this person who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver her, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open her heart to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill her with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep her in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach her to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send her into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring her to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son, Jesus, received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection, from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ, with, with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit. 
that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. Hi. All right, hold on. Izzy, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son. The big one. And of the Holy Spirit. And we all say, Amen. Amen. Whoa. Good job. I was told she would scream. I think we're good so far. Wait, wait, wait. Izzy, hold on. Here. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Jesus' own forever. Amen. Amen. Let's try this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon this your servant. It's just easier. The forgiveness of sin and have raised her to the new life of grace. Sustain her, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give her an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. Amen. Hold on, we have more gifts. Izzy, I'm going to give this to your godparents so that, that they can remind you of the light of Christ that now is within you and the celebration of your anniversary of your baptism three days before your birthday. I'm also going to give dad the certificate of baptism. And on behalf of the congregation, we have this hug rug beautifully made by one of our members with this prayer. Welcome to God's family and to your, would you like to hold this? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to God's family and to your family at St. Nick's. In the waters of baptism, you have been lovingly adopted by God into God's family, which we call the church. You have been given God's own life to share, and nothing can separate you from God's love in Christ. Our prayer for you is this. Dear God, creator of all life, we thank you for sending us Elizabeth May Fry. Bless her with love and health and protect her from all evil. Guide her onto the paths that lead to you. Give us wisdom to be the nurturers and teachers that Izzy needs for us to be. Amen. Amen. This throw is a hug from God and from your family at St. Nick's. May it bring you much warmth and comfort. You're welcome. Dale, would you like to hold that? All right. Let us pray. Let us welcome the newly baptized as we say together. We receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified. Proclaim his resurrection and share with us in his eternal priesthood. And now may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Put that on my chair. Thank you. Congratulations. You can blow that out. There's a bag over there for the... That's um, me. With the candle holder and also the... Yeah, don't put it in there yet. <laughs> That's please. Congratulations. You're welcome. That's me, Bye-bye. I with you. Why aren't you smiling? In case you think you're not going to get wet. That's the Peace the Lord. Peace the Lord. Peace the Lord. Did I get you? Okay. Peace the Lord. Peace the Lord. Peace the Lord. Peace the Lord. Did I get you guys? I got your dad real good. Did I get you? Peace the Lord. God's peace be with you. Peace the Lord. Peace the Lord. You okay? No, I got you, right? I'm not going to get you again. Thank you.
That's basically what I Catch off. Uh-oh. Some cloud that's supposed to be with me. Did I get you? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to soak anybody. Bob, you have the privilege of doing me. The whole bucket, yeah. <laughs> No, you can put it in there first. Yeah, there you go. This should be a Photoshop. Oh, thank you. You got me. I got a spurged. Just for one minute. Did I miss anyone? Once you did. With the water, you guys didn't get it, did you? Oh, all right. Sorry, the godparents missed it. I'll be right back. I know they want it. I told them they were going to get it, and then I missed them. And this is your favorite part. That's what the. Oh, you didn't? Did you get it too? Jeez, I'm a bad shot. All right, Chloe, you got it. Are you lying? <laughs> Did I still get you? Oh, I don't know. Sorry. All right. There's more where that came from in case you want more when you go to. <laughs> All right. So before we, um, before we have the offertory sentence, I just want to, since we have some visitors, let you know that the children from Sunday school will come and be communed first. After the choir, the choir goes first. Who goes first? children then the choir. It's been a long time since we've had choir and children at the same time. So anyway, so the ushers will start then bringing both sides forward. We will form a semicircle in front of or like on the carpet, just a semicircle where we will give you bread in your hand and then there will be a table here with paper cups. If you desire wine, please pick up a cup on your way. We will hopefully have no holes in any cups. I looked at Bob because he's had a holy cup which doesn't work well when you pour wine in. Anyway, um, come forward, come in the semicircle. When everyone receives communion, then I will say, go in peace, and you can go back by the side aisles to your respective seats. If you need a gluten-free wafer, give me the peace sign. If you prefer just to receive a blessing, put your hands across your chest. Does that help? Okay. Let us now walk in love as Christ loves us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God.
please stand as you are able for the Eucharistic prayer found on page five in your service leaflet. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks to Christ. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Because in Jesus Christ, our Lord, you have received us as your sons and daughters, made us citizens of your kingdom, and given us the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your son and his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with Nicholas and all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. 
take them and remember that Christ died and lives for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. instructions right now. <laughs> but not for the kids they're not doing that okay hold on i'm almost there oh wrong thing sorry <laughs> here you want this one I'm all confused. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Okay. One of one of The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Yeah, there you go. You want the bread? Body. Oh, you're going to do a semicircle? Okay. All right. Got it. That's perfect. Like it was 10 years ago. I don't remember. Sorry. Choir. It's so good to have a choir. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. Thank you. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Go in peace. Lord bless this cup and this thing that's put in me. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 The body of Christ, the bread of heaven.
Christ, the bread of heaven, to be about us. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 in peace. Please stand as you are able for the prayers after communion. The first I will offer on behalf of those who are joining us through live stream for spiritual communion. Let us pray. Beloved Jesus, we believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. We love you above all things and desire to receive you into our souls. Since we cannot at this moment receive you in the sacrament of your body and blood come spiritually into our hearts, we embrace you and unite ourselves entirely to you. Let us never be separated from you in this life or in the life to come. Amen. Amen. Praying together the prayer at the bottom of page six in your blue service leaflet. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ. Life is short. Life is short. 
And there's too much, uh, life is short. I'm forgetting my, my, all right, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And life is short. Cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light now and this time to come. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you this day and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Remembered it now. Be seated for the announcements. Chloe, can you come up here, please? Yeah. <laughs> Chloe is an amazing violin player today who played our prelude, but on Monday she participated in the Interfaith 5K out at the Soccerplex, and this was the champion for her age group. I, I really just wanted to embarrass you in front of the whole congregation, but we are, we are absolutely so proud of you for all of your many talents. And so thank you for sharing them with us and also congratulations on your win. It's the second Monday night of the month. Tomorrow night, we are going to Laredo Grill. If you're interested, we arrive around six-ish. It's in the Festival Shopping Center off of Muddy Branch Road. All of our pros, 10% of what we eat together, um, if you put St. Nick's on your receipt that you turn into the restaurant, will go to our ministry at El Hogar, which is a school for um, children in Honduras who either are parentless or have difficulty in their families. And we are sponsoring the seventh grade class of Alondra Ortiz, who's been with us, or we've been sponsoring her since she entered the school about five, six years ago. So please come to dinner tomorrow night. Um, next Sunday. Hawaiian Sunday and the parish picnic. So I expect to see a lot of Hawaiian outfits, you know, tropical outfits, hats, whatever you want to wear next Sunday for church. And then after church, we will be joining um, our Kona ice truck in the, uh, in the space over here. If you have not yet signed up, there's a sheet in the back. You may sign up to bring something or you can use the sign up genius, which is in the what's happening. Um, so please do sign up RSVP as well as to bring something. Um, I wanted to make mention that um, before we look at our ministry recruitment, that um, Rose Mahan is doing well. She is still in rehab and is making progress every day. 
And thank you all for those of you who have visited or sent cards. Unfortunately, I just got notice from the daughters that the rehab facility has decided that whether it's because people have been abusing the visitation policy or because they're seeing incidents of COVID, they are only allowing one family member or one person to be the visitor all the time. So uh, those of us who were hoping to get to visit her, not yet because we can't, the daughters have had the priority. So they're the ones that will be her visitors, but hopefully she'll be moved as of the 18th to a facility that might have a fewer, um, few restrictions. So we'll keep you posted. She's supposed to be transferred on the 18th and we're not sure exactly where. Um, so because we don't have enough going on today, we're also um, kicking off this Sunday with our ministry fair. We're not doing a fair, but I would like to ask um, when I call your name and please don't applaud for everybody. Um, you should all have a blue sheet. I think it's blue. Is it blue? Is it, It's green. Sorry, I just took the white one. It's a green sheet. Okay. Even if you have signed up for ministries in the past, we would like you to renew your commitment as you have renewed your baptismal covenant to whatever ministries you are interested in, because we are the body of Christ and it takes all of us to do the, what needs to be done around the church. So, so you could be familiar with the person in charge of the ministry. I'm going to ask when I call your name for you to come up. Alter Guild, who's Mark? We're going to have Mark and Joy come up for Alter Guild because Ruth Wilbanks is on vacation at the beach. Yep. So just we're going to form a line right here. Wherever. Yeah. So Alter Guild, if you're interested, set ups before church, helps clean up after church, maybe does laundry and um, linens, but very, very important. And it's behind the scenes, so you don't have to see anybody. Um, Audrey. Audrey, um, this is not behind the scenes. Audrey is our head usher, and she would love to have people join her team. Uh, you have to get here a few minutes early to be able to pass out service leaflets and get hymnals on the chairs and to say hello to people. This is Audrey. Um, David McGlott is not here, um, so and Mindy is, but Mindy is setting up for the kids. So Mindy is our assistant treasurer. And if you want to learn how to be a counter, meaning you get to count all the hundreds and thousands and millions of dollars that is donated, um, it's a great it's a great gig. Um, Ruth Bador, Ruth Bador coordinates our outreach um, and helps organize our uh, backpack drives, our food drives, our clothing drives, and El Hulgar support. We need more people on Ruth Bador's team. So let's you know if you're interested at all in outreach, please check that box. Carolyn, oh, Carolyn, you're over here. Carolyn, <laughs> Carolyn, make a joyful noise and see Carolyn. Rehearsals Tuesdays at 7.30 to 9. Barbara Miles, Barbara Miles is jumping up and coming over here. Barbara is the one who coordinates our lectors or readers, um, which we need every Sunday. So please see Barbara if you'd like to read. Um, see me if you're interested in being an acolyte or a crucifer. Alicia, yay, Alicia is... Alicia does everything, but she is the coordinator for hospitality and coffee hour. So we have um, a few slots open. We'd like to have more people on our hospitality team so that we can spread out who can help us with coffee hour. Um, it's getting here early and setting up coffee and making sure we have enough snacks for everybody. And then there's the big events that Alicia would like help with, but we all sign up and thank you, Alicia, for all you do. Um, welcome ministry, I would say Charlotte, but she's not here. So if you're interested in welcome ministry, see me. Um, John Lightfoot. John is the chair of our finance administration and human resources team, fondly known as FAR. Our ministry takes care of looking at our financials, um, any major projects, which we have none of going on now. Um, oh, wait, yes, we do. Solar panels, learning cottage, selling land. Um, and on my list is building a labyrinth, but they don't know that yet. So, well, they do because I remind them all the time, but um, it'll be after a while. Stewardship, helping us raise funds, talk to me. Um, stewardship will kick off in a few weeks. Jeff Fuller, he's our junior warden as well as our buildings and grounds manager who has done a phenomenal job with the solar panels. Yes, you can give my hand. And has all those other major projects I mentioned on his list. Um, Sunday school, you saw Maureen, if you're interested in Sunday school, you can also see Mindy. We're just looking, um, if you're interested in helping, that would be great. Um, Mark, Mark also is here as our digital ministry coordinator, basically setting up the cameras, setting up microphones, helping us to get our live stream done. Mark has a wonderful manual and can teach you anything. Sandra, Sandra is our deacon who is going to, Sandra, you can come up too. <laughs> 
you're part of the team. Don't Sandra, if you like to knit or you would love to learn to knit or crochet, you saw that beautiful hug rug we gave to Izzy today. We would like to give to everyone who's newly baptized as well as people who are sick and in the hospital or who just need an extra hug from St. Nick. So see Sandra. I manage Eucharistic visitors and chalices. Um, Charlotte's not here, but if you're interested in the prayer group, we meet once a month, usually on a Saturday via Zoom. We'd love to have you participate. Um, I've got Carolyn for handbells or Barbara. Um, we have a Tuesday book study group. Um, you're welcome to join that as well. And then adult formation is um, something I'm also coordinating. So these are our great ministry leaders. Let's give them a hand. They would be more than happy to teach you uh, anything as well as to help you discern whether or not this any of these um, activities are part of what you'd like to offer the church. Sandra, would you like to dismiss us from yes, right I here? Would. Please stand for the dismissal. And then the refreshments. We have a lot of good cupcakes, I think. My brothers and sisters, our worship is over. Our service begins. Let us now go forth into the world to love and serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lovely, yes. Lauren, but I'm that sounds absolutely lovely. So, oh.